بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اور چینل ایکسپرٹ اینالیسس دا ٹاپک وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس از کنگ لیئر لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا انٹروڈکشن کنگ لیئر از اباؤٹ کانفلکٹ بٹوین فادر اینڈ دیئر چلڈرن لیئر ہیز تھری ڈاٹرس ون آف دیم لوز ہیم اینڈ دا ٹو آف دیم ڈونٹ ہی گیٹس اینگری ٹو دا گڈ ڈاٹر کارڈیلیا اینڈ گیوز ہیز کنگڈم ٹو دا ٹو بیڈ ڈاٹرس کانرل اینڈ ریگن ون ونس دے آر ان چارج آف دا کنگڈم the bad daughters are mean to lear and send him outside in the storm by himself the other father is gloucester his son is one, is one of the son is a, a, a noble man and the other son is edmund he is a bastard edmund the younger one is a bastard and the gloucester committed adultery and edmund was born at the wedlock because he is a bastard the world looked down on him Edmund wants to change the situation so he makes a plot to get rid of his father and brother so he can inherit Gloucester's money and his title. At the beginning of the play, Gloucester introduces his son to the nobleman Kent. Gloucester explains that Edmund is a bastard and it is clear that Gloucester is embarrassed by having Edmund uh, having admit he have a he have an affair. Act 1 King Lear announces he is going to be giving up being king and divide the country between his three daughters. He has the country all carved out at the map already and he wants each of them to say how much they love him so he can act like he is giving given them the portion based on who loves him the most. Conrel and Legan lie and say they love Lear more than everything but Cordelia who actually does love him won't do it. She says she loves him as much as one loves her father. no more no less lear is furious with cordelia he tells her she is not his daughter and gondrel and regan will divide up his portion he announces he wants to keep 100 knights as his followers and is going to spend his remaining days visiting gondrel and then regan for a month at a time kent tells lear he is acting crazy and he should change his mind lear tells him to shut up but kent says he doesn't care what lear does to him Lear is making a huge mistake and Kent is going to speak up about it. Lear tells him to get out of the kingdom and if he is caught in the England again he is dead. The king of France is visiting Lear and he takes Cordelia to be his queen even just Lear disowned her. Edmund decides he uh, he is tied to be a second class citizen just because he is a bastard and he is going to do something about it. He posted a letter from brother Edgar suggesting that Edgar wants to kill Gloucester so that he can inherit his lands. Gloucester tells Edmund to go find Edgar so he can explain the letter. Edmund does find Edgar but he tells him Gloucester is furious about him. So he needs to hide until the Gloucester calms down. Edmund hides Edgar in, in his own room. Lear is now in the Gondrel's castle. Gondrel tells in his uh, uh, tells one of her chief servants Oswald that she is sick of Lear's knights. being at her house oswald should make sure everyone gives lear bad service kent doesn't leave the country as lear had ordered instead he disguises himself and uh, as a poor man and shows up at gondrel's house offering to be lear's servant lear gives him a chance oswald is rude to lear turning his back and leaving when lear calls him and treating him like as he is just gondrel's father and not a king lear hits oswald and then kent trips him which makes lear happy Conrel confronts Lear telling him his followers are unruly and disorderly which infuriates her she dismisses 50 of them without even consulting Lear now the act 2 Lear is expecting to still be treated like a king so he is actually in tears after being treated like this he tells Conrel she is degenerate bastard and not his daughter and he loves and he leaves with his followers to go to Regan's house Conrel writes to her sister to warn her that Lear's uh, Lear is coming which prompts Regan and Cornwall to leave their house to visit Gloucester. Conrel's husband the Duke of Albany is upset that Lear left in anger. Edmund tells Edgar to run away their father is coming. He calls for help and before Gloucester arrives he cuts himself to make it look like Edgar tried to kill him. Regan and her husband Cornwall left home to avoid hosting Lear. Cornwall tells Gloucester he will use his resources to help arrest Edgar. Kent and Oswald get into a fight. Kent was sent ahead by Lear to tell Regan <coughs> Cornwall that uh, Cornwall knows that Lear is coming. Oswald was sent by Gonrel to warn them to avoid Lear. Cornwall who is very hot-headed and angry has Kent put into stocks. 
to sit outside locked up all day and all night. This is a big deal because because Kent is Lear's messenger and one and no one would ever do to the messenger of a king. Lear coming to look for Regan and Cornwall find Kent in the stocks and he is furious. He is even more furious to hear that Regan and Cornwall are tired and won't see him. Lear finally confronts Regan. He complains about Conrell but Regan says she is Conrell's uh, she is on Conrell's side. Then Conrell herself shows up and the two sisters say they won't let Lear keep even one servant. Lear leaves in the tears so angry that he is starting to lose his mind and his daughters have the door shut on him even though it is night and a huge storm is coming. Now moving toward Act 3. Lear is still outside with just his fool and no shelter from the storm. Kent finds him and tries to lead him toward a hut. Gloucester shows Edmund a secret letter saying that an army from France has landed in Dover, England and he says Cordelia has brought his army to make Lear king again. He says they need to be on Lear's side even though it is treason against Regan and Gondrel. He is going to get the king out. After he leaves, Edmund says he is going straight to Cornwall to tell him that Gloucester is up to Lear. Kent and the fool try to take shelter in a little hut full of straw but Edgar is inside it pretending to be poor. Poor Tom, a crazy beggar. Lear who is going crazy himself has a long talk with poor Tom before going inside. Edmund gives Cornwall Gloucester's secret letter and Cornwall makes Edmund the Earl in place of Gloucester, meaning Gloucester has lost his place to Edmund. So Edmund has succeeded in taking everything away from his father and brother. Gloucester finds Lear in the hut and he tells Kent to take him to Dover to meet Cordelia's army. Gloucester goes back to his own house and Cornwall arrests him for treason. Cornwall sends Edmund off to Gondrell to tell her to gather her soldiers to fight Lear. Cornwall and Regan interrogate Gloucester about what he did with Lear and whether he is on the side of the French and the Cornwall gorges out his eyes. They tell him Edmund hates him and he realizes he was tricked about Edgar. Now moving towards Act 4. One of Cornwall's servants tries to stop him and he wounds Cornwall with a sword before Cornwall kills him. Cornwall and Regan send Gloucester on his way but Cornwall's wound, Cornwall is wounded and will soon die. Edgar still pretending to be poor Tom sees his father and starts guiding him towards Dover. Gloucester wants to go there to throw himself off the highest cliff. Conrell is trying to get ready for a war against Lear. But her husband Albany doesn't want to fight since he thinks Lear is right and Conrell is worthless and horrible. Conrell herself would love to be to get rid of Albany because she is fallen in love with Edmund. When she hears Cornwall is dead, she gets jealous of Regan because she thinks Regan will try to seduce Edmund. She uses her servant Oswald to carry love letters to Edmund. Regan is in love with Edmund too and she tries to get Oswald to show her Conrell's love letters. She tells Oswald to kill Gloucester if he can find him because they should have killed him before. Edgar tells Gloucester he is at the top of a cliff though he is actually not. Gloucester tries to throw himself off the cliff and lands on his face. Edgar pretends to be another person at the bottom, saying it was a miracle to survive the fall. And that a demon was at the top persuading him to jump. He does all this to make Gloucester stop being suicidal. Lear comes in and talks to them. Lear is insane and Cordelia's soldiers tries to catch him. Oswald tries to kill Gloucester but Edgar kills Oswald instead. He finds he finds uh, on Oswald's body a letter from Gondrell in which Gondrell promises to get rid of Albany and marry Edmund. In the last act, Cordelia's followers have caught Lear and given him drugs to sleep, try to cure him. She wakes him up and apologizes just before the battle with Lear's forces. Regan tells Edmund she loves him and he should stay away from Gondrell. Gondrell and Albany join them and Edgar comes in hands Oswald's letter to Albany. He says that after the battle, if Albany wins, he should sound a trumpet three times and a champion will appear to prove that the letter is true. What Edgar is actually talking about is trial by combat, a tradition that says if a knight is accused of something he can fight with. His successor and the winner must be right because God made them win. Edgar is accusing Edmund of treason and he will fight Edmund to prove it. Cordelia's forces lose and Lear and Cordelia are captured. Edmund gives a captain order to kill them in prison. 
Regan and Gondor start arguing over which one of them gets admit. Regan says she wants to marry him but Albany says she cannot because his own wife has promised to marry Edmund already. He accuses Edmund of treason. Regan is getting sick anyway because Gondrel has poisoned her. A trumpet is sounded and Edgar appears to fight Edmund. And he is a traitor as Regan has carried off. Edgar defeats Edmund and Albany shows Gondrel's letter to her. She runs off and kills herself. Edgar reveals his true identity and Kent arrives on the scene. A servant brings the news that Gondrel and Regan are both dead. Gondrel stabbed herself after poisoning Regan. Edmund decides to do something good before he dies, so he tells them to go save Lear and Cordelia. Lear comes in carrying Cordelia's body. They were too late to save her. Kent tries to tell Lear that he was the loyal servant, but Lear lost his mind again and doesn't understand. Lear dies and Kent says he plans to join him soon. Edgar and Albany are the last people left to rule Britain. And this is the end of Act 5. Thank you.